Uh, I can't talk to you uh, to say that's the best time uh, ever to start your company. Uh, first of all, I introduce myself for the ones that don't know me. I'm Felipe Costa. Uh, I was born in Brazil, moved to Portugal nine years ago, did my degree, and after working for six, seven months, uh, I got bored and decided to start some projects of <coughs> my own. And since then I had two projects, not formal companies, that are going on. And since a few months ago, uh, I started to work for a startup incubator in Porto. Uh, so, it's the best time to start your company. Some of you may say, the best time? Are you out of your mind? Come on, we have a financial crisis, there's no bank loans and low employability. So you cannot raise money of yourself to start your, your business. And I would say, indeed, yeah, it's all true. And my presentation is open. It's not true. But no, no, because entrepreneurs always, always see things differently. And that's the important thing in entrepreneurs. They see opportunities when others don't. But let's be ob objective here. It's the best time, but what do you need? What do you need to start a company? And I ask, I ask you, what someone needs to start a company? An idea? Good? More? Seven? More, sorry? Passion. Okay, yeah. This is about skills, but what about what? Idea? More things? A team? Talent, yes, good. More? A lot of work? Food. <laughs> Food, indeed. You need it to live. <laughs> Money, yeah? So let's see. I'm going to say to you that all the things you need, you have it. And now, you never had before all these things, but now you have it. So what about a good idea? I believe that's the basic. Most of you, since you believe you are an entrepreneur, you have it already. But even if you don't have it, it's crazy the numbers of technologies that our universities produce. There's thousands of uh, patents, patterns, uh, in the shelf of investigators. So you just, you can research it on the internet. Make your ideas, make your products out of it, get a license, and produce it. You need money, it's true. To start, a seed money, the basic things. And I suggest to you there's loads of contests, startup contests that give you this seed money. Give you 5,000, 10,000. If you go after it, if you want to go uh, to bigger things, the government, the European Union, they want you, they need you to start companies. So they create a lot of programs. The FMA in Portugal has programs to give you that money. Actually, these programs sometimes complain that they have the money, but the people doesn't look for it, doesn't take it. And, of course, you have the venture capital. As Robert said yesterday, the, they are looking for you, they are struggling to get your best ideas. That, that sentence, let's get over that, sorry, uh, was said by an investor a few months ago, and they say there is money, for projects with value. And you need talent. Now in Portugal you have high qualified graduates every year coming out from universities looking for opportunities. Most of them need to go abroad, need to move from the port of Coimbra to Lisbon, and they are looking for opportunities to, to get an adventure. You may say you need entrepreneur skills. And there's thousands of events this month, last month. Conference, Switch itself. We are supposed to be talking about a lot of things, 
but you are always going back to independence. Fifth, that, 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 that's thousands of deaths. <laughs> Part of events, you have business skills in Portugal, you have in Porto, the things I know more, there's a specific business skill, non internationally, there's a master about these topics, about innovation and entrepreneurship. And information. Come on, you cannot complain that you don't have information. It's everything on the internet. You have thousands of blogs about it. You have thousands of books about it. You just have to go and look it. You may say, you need an office. I say, you don't. You can start working from home. It's free. Come on. And even if you want, if you are a freelancer, uh, there's a new concept coming up, started in New York. Uh, it's July, and it's about uh, freelancers that work at home, and once in a week, once in two weeks, get together in someone's place and work together. So you can still have working at home, but you still get the brainstorming sessions with other people, people working in other projects. And you can have a co-working space if you want to start uh, having a schedule or an office properly. And you have two in Lisbon, the Verdade Centimetre Law, Factory, and you have one at Porto. I was looking for another one in Portugal. I hear they're starting one in Coimbra, uh, but so far that's the ones I know. You can start your own if you want. Uh, and incubators. There's thousands of incubators in Portugal. That was quite surprising. You see later. Like but let's talk a bit more about incubators. Incubators are much more than an office. They're supposed to give you mentorship, uh, they give you access to networks, and they help you with funding. So, just a quick research. This is the incubator in Portugal, waiting for you to go there. Uh, specifically, I'm going to talk about my experience in Porto. There is uh, OpenTech. Science and technology part of the University of Porto, and just for you to see how big can be that structure and how can it help you. Uh, there is four locations: one related to technology, other related to science, other related to the creative industries, and other related to the sea. If you watch the president's speech a few weeks ago, he said specifically about the potential of the sea and the creative industries to Portugal. So the technology center, well, uh, there is 32 startups there. It started three years ago. We are building up uh, the main building and incubator center for more than 80 companies, maybe. There is an innovation center, we have to build the creative industry center. We have three big uh, companies live working there, plus 15 startups. Two uh, European, one German, and another uh, mm -hmm. Flemish, Belgian mm -hmm. uh, institutes working there. The one in the lab, and finally the C unit that's going to be a big uh, port in Leixões port, where they are building up another great infrastructure. So taking numbers, in three years we have 52 technology-based projects. Five innovation centers, 42 early stage companies, five metro companies, more than 400 jobs. And that was built for entrepreneurs. For entrepreneurs that are coming out from the university and want to build something, want to start something of their own and essentially export because the country needs it. The country every year gets 17,000 million debt because the money grows. And it's really important for the companies that are coming in to think about the exportation. So, as you can see, it's the best time ever. Never was so many opportunities, never so many money, information uh, to start your business. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> it's a call to action. Really go for it. Let's play contact, get in touch, and if you have an idea that's worth it, uh, I will try to help you to, to get that. Thank you.